Psychology has been one of the most popular subjects among undergraduate students according to the American Psychological Association. In the same article, the association also noted that in 2014 to 2015 academic year, schools have awarded more than 117,000 bachelor degree in psychology. So, in my own opinion, I think this figure will continue to rise in the years to come. But is psychology an easy degree? That's why so many students decided to sign up for this course, maybe just for an easy uni life. Well, my answer is no. Watch this video to find out the three reasons why I think psychology is not an easy degree. But before that, remember to give this video a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button together with the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload any new content. Well, psychology is indeed difficult only if you are not interested in the subject. This is mainly due to the fact that different subjects in psychology actually require you to do a lot of reading before and after a lecture. Aside from reading the textbook that you will be getting for each different subject in psychology, you are also expected to read up on different journal articles in order to have a better understanding on the latest development on the topic that you are currently working on. On top of that, you are also required to cram all sorts of information into your head within a short period of time. And I've touched a little bit on this topic in one of my previous videos so to check it out by clicking on the link here or here. But um, basically back in my uni days I had about four to five months to prepare for about four to five subjects in one semester. So imagine if I had about five articles to prepare for each subject and if I were to compile everything up the workload could get overwhelming at times. So yeah time management is really everything in university. Next up, you have to conduct many different experiments throughout your undergraduate study. Depending on the university that you enroll in, some school might require you to conduct more, but some might require you to conduct less. Essentially, these experiments are put in place to get you ready for grad school if you are planning to further your study in a specific field of psychology. If you are wondering why it is necessary to conduct experiments in the field of psychology, then we will have to circle back to the definitions of psychology. Psychology is the scientific study of the human mind and also behavior. So, for every science subject, experiment plays an essential role in validating and also invalidating a certain theories or facts that the public perceive to be true. So, just like biology, chemistry, and also physics, psychology students are required to conduct experiments in order to test if their informed assumption is correct or wrong. So, if you are someone who does not enjoy the crunch of researching for information and also writing a report, then psychology might be a challenging course for you. However, if you are passionate about psychology, then do give yourself a chance to be exposed to the act of conducting an experiment, because who knows, sooner or later, you might fall in love with it when you get the hang of it. Moving on, psychology can be a difficult subject for people who hold a preconceived notion of what psychology is all about. For example, some people might be thinking psychology is all about reading the minds of another person or it's about studying the micro expressions of people around them in order to detect a liar. Unfortunately, these are just some common assumptions that the public has on this very subject. Yes, we do study about human, but it is not as fancy as what is shown in the TV series in which psychology could actually detect who is the liar simply by just talking to a group of people. In reality, psychology aims to study the reason why a certain group of people think or even behave in a certain way using scientific tools or method, for example, conducting sophisticated experiments. So if the expectation of the students is not aligned with the reality, then very quickly they will lose their interest in this subject because they are not learning what they intend to learn. To sum it all up, psychology can be a difficult course to study in university only if you are not interested in the subject. This is because you are expected to read a lot of journal articles and papers throughout your university life and on top of that, you are also expected to conduct experiment after experiment in order to validate a certain theory or facts. And also, there might be somewhat a difference between what a student is expecting to learn from psychology and what is actually being offered to them in their reality. So, this tiny slight difference might actually result in a loss of interest in them from continuing to pursue this subject. Thank you so much for watching till this far and that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share it out with your friend. Let's say psychology is something that you are interested in, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button together with the notification bell so that you wouldn't miss any of my future content. Till then, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!